poses. With strong muscles and strong legs, the leap is one of the most effective means to cover ground quickly. From big cats to antelope, from big birds to spiders, this is a high-octane fight to survive. Life for some is literally a race. To stay alive, they have to run the fastest. They have to keep running for the longest, and they must have some extra tricks. They must do it every day, many times a day, just to stay alive. And the best place for running is where there's lots of space. The vast savannas of Africa, the open prairies of America, and the great red deserts of Australia. Animals who have survived here have used countless generations to evolve their ability to run and run. Some have long legs, some have strong muscles, others have light bodies or sheer force of will. The need to run has led to a huge range of sizes and shapes, but all have one thing that links them. To win, they must run like the wind. One gold medal sprinter is way ahead of the rest. Every detail of his body is built for speed. The cheetah. These big cats live where competition for predator and prey is at its most intense. The African savanna the greatest concentration of large animals on Earth. The herds here contain almost two million, wildebeest, zebra and gazelle. And this is the big cat that can outrun them all. He is slim and light, with long legs built for sprinting. A lone male is hungry, he needs to eat about three kilos of food every day, and today he has been out of luck. Then, a herd of Thompson's gazelle. The cheetah needs to get very close to the gazelles before he reveals himself. Creeping through the grass in silence. The cheetah is completely focused on his target. The gazelle senses something is wrong. The cheetah can accelerate to 75 kilometers an hour in less than two seconds. Soon he reaches a top speed of 120. The gazelle is also fast, almost as fast as the cheetah. With competitors like these, the race is very close. But the fastest doesn't always win. After less than a minute, the cheetah collapses. He cannot keep up his top speed for more than a minute. If he fails, the race is over. He has been taking 150 breaths per minute, and his body temperature has reached over 40 degrees. He may need half an hour to recover before he's ready to hunt again. The Thompson's gazelle has escaped this time. Cheetahs hunt by sight. They have a wide-angle field of view and extremely sharp vision. Even the cheetah's stunning eyeliner has a purpose. His black tear marks prevent reflected sunlight from getting into his eyes. The Thompson's gazelle. He needs to get within 30 meters. Then he's off. The cheetah has oversized heart and lungs, so he can effectively get oxygen into those high-power muscles. Even his nostrils are bigger, so he can suck in more air. His flexible spine acts like a spring, 
adding energy with every bound. His long tail is a rudder, so he can make sharp turns in the chase. The cheetah has a 50-50 chance of victory. Cheetahs kill by suffocating the prey with a firm bite on the neck. The cheetah gets a meal. He lives to race another day. Cheetah cubs stand a high chance of being taken by bigger cats like leopards and lions. The likelihood of these cubs making it to adulthood is around 50%, but in some places it is even worse. In the densely populated Serengeti, only one in 10 cubs will survive to become adults. These young cheetahs have a lot to learn. The mother will remain with them to teach them everything she knows. From hunting and stalking, to catching and killing. After 18 months, the female leaves her cubs. Now it's up to them to run the daily high-speed races to survive. The next top runners all belong to the same group. They have long legs, permanent horns and highly tuned senses. And many have an incredible ability to jump. The antelope, one of the most successful herbivores on Earth. There are 91 species, and they are all very different. Antelopes range in size from 800 kilos to two kilos. Antelopes can be found in Asia and the Middle East, but most live in Africa. The Serengeti Plains of East Africa are home to a colorful collection of antelope. The strangest looking of them all has the shaggy beard of a goat, stripes, and the build of a large cow. The wildebeest. She roams in massive herds for protection, but when attacked, she can sprint at over 60 kilometers an hour. But sometimes all these companions can be a disadvantage. A herd this size will quickly graze away all the available grass. They need to keep eating, so they must face a dangerous migration in search of more food, which is excellent news for the Nile crocodile. Our female is anxious but she knows safety in numbers is the key to getting across alive. The wildebeest knows the more time she spends in the water, the greater the chance of being caught. Her luck runs out. The croc tries to drag her under so she will drown. To survive, she if she is strong enough, fast enough, smart enough, she will survive the crossing many more times to come. Meet the fussy eater of the plains, the topi. These gazelles have developed a long muzzle and sensitive lips to forage among the long grass for young new shoots. But there's a huge advantage to this picky eating habit. This topi gets so much water from his food, he doesn't need to drink. In an environment where drought is common, he survives by not needing rivers and waterholes to live. And when he needs to run, he can really run. Topis can flee from predators at 70 kilometers an hour. The movie star of the antelopes has played a leading role in almost every African wildlife film. He's handsome sometimes the victim, and always the athlete, the Thompson's gazelle. They prefer to eat short grass, 
so they follow the large herbivores who remove the longer grass. They are born ready to run. But these graceful animals are the preferred prey of the cheetah. The cheetah can outrun the gazelle, but the Tommy has a clever bag of escape tricks. Thompson's gazelles can turn faster than a cheetah. They can leap higher and they can run for longer. Despite his delicate appearance, the Thompson's gazelle has an even chance of outrunning its predators. The second fastest animal on four legs is the last of his kind, pronghorns. These beautiful herds were nearly wiped out in North America. They're not technically antelopes as they have a different horn structure, but they fill the same ecological niche and they can really run. These impressive animals can reach speeds over 80 kilometers an hour. And they're exceptional at endurance. The herd must migrate 500 kilometers every year to survive. Pronghorns are well equipped for running. They have a large windpipe, heart and lungs. And they can outrun all the American predators. Wolves, bobcats and cougars. This is a supreme racer running to survive in North America. In the world of speed, only one animal comes close to the cheetah. He's been running on the African plains for 20 million years. and he's only got two legs. The ostrich. The world's biggest bird is not able to fly, but he can run like the wind. He might not look streamlined, but he's built for speed. Most birds have four toes. The ostrich has two. Their feet have almost transformed into hooves. Ostriches weigh over a hundred kilos. Sustaining a body like this takes a lot of food. Ostriches eat fruit, seeds and grass, but they will often take a grasshopper or other insect for some extra protein. The ostrich is the extreme of bird evolution. He may not be able to fly, but of all the birds, he runs the fastest race. Our next high octane animal couldn't be more of a contrast to the others. He's only 20 millimeters long, he hides underground, and he has eight legs. Those legs are pretty good for running, but when this little creature wants to pack on the speed, he does something very surprising. The golden wheel spider is the only creature in the world that actually turns itself into a wheel to get out of trouble. Golden wheels live among the hot sand dunes of Namibia in Africa. They don't build webs, so the only option is to go out hunting. This one is on the lookout for juicy insects but it will be a challenging day. A pompilid wasp is looking for somewhere to lay her egg, 
but not just anywhere, somewhere safe from predators and close to a generous supply of food. The golden wheel spider. The wasp is trying to lay her egg inside the spider. If successful, she will bury the living spider and her larva will hatch inside and eat the spider alive. But first, she must sting the spider and the spider is not about to cooperate. He needs to get away fast. The golden wheel tucks his legs into a wheel shape and off he goes. He's speeding down the dune at a meter per second. His body is spinning at 20 times a second. It's a dizzying experience. But the wasp is left behind. She must find another victim for her living nursery. And the spider has escaped a gruesome death. Golden wheel spiders do have a venomous bite, but it is not harmful to humans. Their main defense is to hide in a deep burrow, far from predatory wasps. The burrow might be 50 centimeters deep, so this spider has to shift a lot of sand. He will end up moving massive amounts of material in order to build a safe home. He completes his silk-lined burrow and retreats to safety. This tiny marvel of the sand dunes will emerge again at nightfall to continue his high-speed race. The Australian desert is home to another gold medal runner of the animal world. This creature is custom created to survive the incredible heat of the red center and to cover the vast distances. The red kangaroo. Big reds are the kings of the outback world. A large male can be 1.8 meters tall. And he has a unique way of covering a lot of ground quickly. These animals are perfectly engineered running machines. Half their body weight is muscle. And most of it is around the pelvis area to power those enormous hind legs. Our kangaroo's bound is almost effortless. He is using less energy to breathe now than when he was standing still. He doesn't accelerate by bounding faster. He just increases the length of his leap. Amazingly, he can cover up to eight meters in a single bound. He is running as fast as the desert wind at 60 kilometers an hour. He needs to move fast. The rains have failed and his food supply has dried up. It could be hundreds of kilometers to the next patch of green desert. Finally, food and water. But other animals are also after a meal. A single dingo won't attack a full-grown red kangaroo, but a hungry pack will give it a go. As the kangaroo speeds up, so do the dingoes. But the wild dogs have to move their legs faster and faster to keep up. The roo is cruising. He can keep this up for as long as it takes. The dogs quickly tire. The roo lives to leap again. From the day the joey leaves its mother's pouch, the red kangaroo must run and run in order to be the winner in the desert race. At the top of the athletic table, the speedsters are truly breathtaking. Animals faster than cars, 
more maneuverable than a gymnast, and with more clever moves than a dancer. These are the supreme athletes, perfectly evolved to win their races every day in the wild.